Right here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship here tonight. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight tonight. All right, so here is the other worldly mixed martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has bullets in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take it out and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. And now our kill the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Vicious. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. He passed the half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Nice positional control here. Oh, he postures up in a big head strike by Nermago Medov. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Nermago Medov. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type. Marco Medov's going for the sub here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Youngster. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. 
Oh, great reversal to top position by Nermagomedov. Oh, right into Mo. Great job landing from the top position. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Khabib's in half guard now. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Nermanko Medovs right back to the full mount here. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass it all the way up. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, big shots from the top. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some typical submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Three minutes off the clock in our first round. <laughs> yep, got to be very careful there. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. And Mago Medov's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. This is a terrible position. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off a hip to move try to right move down. your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Side control now. Now he's going full mount. Khabib's going for an arm here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself? Oh, Round two straight ahead. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists. Land strikes, don't throw too many. Throw just enough control. Throw again, control. He did it perfectly. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, let's get to round two. All right, here we go with our next round. And thankfully for his opponent, it begins on the feet because his face was turning into mid speed with that ground and pound. Oh, he got the polish, man. It was punches, it was elbows, it was transition into the elbows. I mean, he was so, he had so much more knowledge in this area that although his opponent is a great ground fighter, jiu-jitsu goes out the window when you're getting punched in the face. And there was no better example of it than what we just saw in the previous round. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. 
Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in in largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nurmagomedov's right back to the full mount. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Khabib's able to transition back to side control now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. He's got to be careful here. Nice shots landing from the top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is stunning off the mat. All right, setting up for a finish here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is right there. Oh, he's going to try to smash. Oh, slams him to the ground. So just when you thought maybe his opponent was locking in on a triangle, he had other ideas. Nice job to change the complexion of this fight. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. The bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard. For Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. And they separate after exiting the clinch. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. He's back in the clinch. Oh! Oh, nice judo toss for him. Looking for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants this very bad. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Just when it looked like he might get submitted, he slams his opponent down with authority as the tide turns here. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Ten seconds now to go in the round. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. Oh. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Ten minutes oh, in the books. Make sure you get him in the guard when he's in the guard. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and often. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, to rushing to his finishes Ready. before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Oh, he's got his back. When you get a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. That was a slick transition. And he's back up. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. It was a good night if that landed. Quick jab. Oh, oh he's hurt, he's hurt. There you go. There you go. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, he's got side control here. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Three minutes to go in round three. Vision could become an issue, and that left eye starting to close. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocks. he gets denied. Blocks! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. He bottom needs fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice elbow. Habib's back in full now. Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. In position for a submission attempt here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Oh, oh, oh. oh somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land in the top position. The swelling is starting to show. He has been beaten up from the top. He has got to move. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. That was nice. All right, side control now. Nermanko Manov's back in full mount. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh. Killing it on the ground, another strike gets through. Oh, good arm bar attempt here. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Takes his back now. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Oh, he lands another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swelling upstairs get worse. That accuracy, man, it's something to behold. This guy is so good at finding his target. Now, he's got a big old marker on the guy's face to try and hit. You have got a smart fight in front of you. You have got to move your head, or he's gonna keep going. Oh, that's how you do it. Posture's up and lands to the head. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round.
You ready to fight? You ready? Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five minute rounds. So here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix it up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go the next 10 minutes. Single leg takedown, well played. All right, north south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. Oh, All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base. Posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half. Oh, you land high land, is that what we're doing here? Takedown defense holds up. The fighters separate. Single leg takedown. Oh, he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chief. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. Khabib's trying for a submission here. What a tight arm bar. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Nice transition. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Now he's got good body position, yup. Seconds to go now. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Metal. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you to attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Beautiful transition. He's got to be careful here. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Oh, another strike lands from the top. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Final seconds of round four. 
Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. All right, next round is underway here, and clearly these guys put in the right work during the training camp when it comes to the fight. You can tell that cardio is the focus of both these gentlemen as they prepare for this fight. Fighter lands a kick now, a pretty good one at that. And they clinch, look for him now to drive his opponent to the side of the octagon to try and secure the position. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Yep, but he's got him secured in the half guard now. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping him in full guard. Oh, he got to his spot. And now he's got the back. Khabib's in full guard. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. If you're going to go out back on your shield, if you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. That's the way. That's the way. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now he's starting to pay dividends. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is gonna be stopped. There it is, now he's running him out. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. He's gonna go to sleep. It's over. Working on Ezekiel choking, he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're gonna get submitted. He didn't panic. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Wow, he is landing time and time again on that cut. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, he's got his back now. Massive shot from the top. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Khabib's right back to the full mount here. And now, I think he's looking for a submission. He's gonna start to chase the arm triangle. Oh, now he's getting tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? 
Work. I'll stand it up. Work. Wow, so somehow, some way in this final round, back to the feet. It's like he's playing the lottery, John. He got to his feet now. Does his numbers hit? He has got to hit every button to try to get a finish. All right, so once more, he takes the fight to the ground. That was his game plan, exactly what he planned on doing coming into the fight. So far, so good. So far, so good. There's no reason to be disappointed. He does a fantastic job of entering, and once he gets to the takedowns, he does a great job of securing top position and really getting damage off on his opponent. Nermanko Medoff is now dealing with a cheat cut. All right, so he's got the body lock. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. The Ladies official decision is in and resides with Bruce Buff. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. For the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC Walter Waite champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like this. You want it to look dominant. He looked dominant tonight in all areas of mixed martial arts. There is no question who's going to get their hand raised tonight when they get to the center of the octagon.